Imagine a work of architectural art that is a shining example of eco-friendly and sustainable design and a beacon for Phoenix residents striving for independence. The whole design was about free movement for persons with disability. And if you can see how the circulation works between the garage and the building, you can see how everything just flows without any barrier. The new Disability Empowerment Center, also known as the DEC, is located along the light rail line on Washington and 50th Streets and is actually a recycled 1970s office complex that had long overstayed its welcome. But it did have value. We determined that we can reuse uh, most of the steel structure here and, and uh, uh, expand on it and make it a, a larger, more modern structure. We saved about a million and a half dollars in steel. And in addition, it was uh, the right thing to do environmentally. In fact, eco-friendly materials and design elements were incorporated throughout the building, including natural shade features, low VOC paints, solar protection for exposed glass, and the use of natural clay tiles for the facade. But this building is really all about pushing the boundaries for accessibility, allowing everyone, regardless of the disability, to feel at home. We're going here way beyond the ADA requirements. We're making it super accessible. The City of Phoenix Building Code incorporates federal and state laws related to accessibility. Janet Reed is the accessibility expert in development services. Two most notable laws were, were Fair Housing Act in the 80s incorporated requirements for multifamily housing for, for, to protect the disabled and then also the Americans with Disabilities Act, which was enacted in 1990, and that was to assure that new construction, new buildings and sites, and also in alterations would be made accessible for people with disabilities. Janet was a competitive swimmer and record holder in New York City. She learned about the need for accessibility the hard way. When I was 21 years old and I was studying architecture, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. Oh, I think I had um, at least a dozen surgeries. I've had both knees replaced, a hip replaced, one ankle fused, all, all, all the joints in my toes and fingers have been replaced. So um, I consider myself pretty bionic by now. There's a lot of people that don't understand the requirements that don't realize the advantage of the requirements, um, that they're advantageous for everybody, not, not just people with disabilities. Most of them really are advantageous to everybody and also as the population ages um, or people are to have a temporary disability, they break a leg or then they realize how, how helpful some of these features are. The deck is now home to nearly a dozen organizations serving the special needs of Phoenix residents, including the Arizona Bridge to Independent Living, or ABLE, which owns the building. ABLE is a uh, nonprofit agency working with people with all types of disabilities, and our goal is really to empower folks to be as independent in the community as possible. We've enjoyed a 19-year uh, relationship with the city and uh, providing home modifications to low to moderate income individuals uh, with disabilities in the city. ABLE wanted its staff, clients, and tenants to experience accessibility at its best, including automatic door openers, adjustable workstations to accommodate wheelchairs, signage for the visually impaired, smooth floor surfaces, and wide open spaces. People visiting or seeing the building certainly know that, wow, this, this can be done. The biggest challenge was to bring this structure to present day codes. I worked with the city of Phoenix and, you know, it's, when you have a quality project and, and you do it to the highest standards, you know, the, the process is, is very easy. And we save the best for last. We have a feature on this building which is uh, a quite substantial roof deck. It's accessible roof deck. Uh, persons with a wheelchair can get up there. The surface is paved with uh, what is called concrete pavers on, uh, on plastic pedestals. Now that's taking accessibility to a whole new level. 